So, um, I'm here with a friend of mine at a show. Um, I'm going to ask you a few questions, is that okay? Okay, great. Okay, so your name, can you, uh, what's your name? My name's Alan. Uh, cool. Nice name. Um, what's your occupation? Um, I own a uh, business that I sell. Um, what do you call your business? It's called Manos de Sur. It's cool. And in Spanish, that's Hands of the South. Because okay. primarily most of my things are handmade down in South America. That's, that's cool. Okay, um... How long have you been doing this? Um, I started the company about seven years ago. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so tell me more about what you sell, like what type of stuff and uh, stuff like that. Um, most of the things that I sell are handmade and primarily from South America. And I source most of my items. Um, so I actually get to meet the artisans that are making them. So I sell leather bags that are handmade down there. I sell um, lots of different leather accessories. I throw some, or I sell some alpaca and um, acrylic throws and blankets. I think your mom actually bought yes. one and she likes it. Very, very soft. <laughs> very soft. Um, and then I do have a branch out a little bit. I have a fair trade um, water buffalo corn jewelry, that's and cool. that's out of Vietnam. Oh, so, yeah. That's really cool. Um, do you have a website? Yes. You do. It's monosdesur.com. Okay. Link will be in the description below. Um, and then, um, what is your favorite market to go to? I would say probably the Scott's Market, the one that we're at right, right now. Right now. Yeah. Uh, one of the reasons is that it's um, only 20 minutes from my house, so I live in Atlanta, so that yeah. makes it makes it very easy. And you kind of get to know the customers, because a lot of them come month to month, and so you get a, a lot of loyal customers that come back to buy different things, so I have a lot of gift type items. Um, what other uh, ones do you go to? Um, I do a round top. It's a big uh, yes. antique show in Texas. Texas. Yes. That's right. I do that twice a year. And then I do some uh, Christmas shows as well. Okay. Um, why should your customers go to markets instead of websites? I think in general, um, I think people to go to a market, you actually get to touch and feel the items and see the quality of the items. So you actually know what you're buying. And a lot of times you can actually bargain with the vendor to see if you can't get a better price as well. So a lot of times, I think that's probably one of the biggest reasons that you should give is the quality of the, okay. the product. Okay. Um, now, this is the most important question. Um, what is your favorite food? Okay. Do you like to fish? Well, you know, I did not. Mm -hmm. I've, I've only fished one time in my entire life. Okay. No. Okay. I grew um, up north and I did not get to go fishing. Uh, so, but you understand okay. you do a lot of fishing. I do a lot of it. I have a, I have a uh, Okay, great. Awesome. Yeah. We'll have to check it out. All right. This. Okay. All right, today's Friday, and we're down here at the Scott Show. Yeah. And we're over here at the vendors, and we're looking at uh, some products so, that we've yeah. got. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, uh, what type of products you I've got some throws right here. They're from South America. Are they soft? They're very soft. Very you soft. can try them. Mm -hmm. They're very fuzzy. Yes, they're soft. Sixty percent alpaca wool and forty okay. percent acrylic. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I've got them in a throw size, and then I've got them in a blanket size. Okay. So, like, um, uh, so how uh, about what's the size on the? Um, they're about the seventy by ninety, so they'll fit okay. a queen bed. Oh, okay. Nice. Um, and then the throws are about about like, forty-five by seventy, so okay. they're good for a couch or a chair. Right. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fuzzy. Okay. Yeah, um, and then I also fuzzy. noticed you got a lot of jewelry here. What type of jewelry do you get? It is fair trade, fair and trade. it's from Vietnam, oh. and it's made out of water buffalo horn. That's cool. So yeah. lots of necklaces and fun bracelets and uh, earrings. All, all kinds and, of different stuff. Yep, yeah, it's yeah. hand carved. Yeah. Everybody loves the fact that it's so light. So okay, this is the this is the card. Go look at his website because this is still. a good Keep website. Still. Okay. Yeah. Um, Perfect. Yep. So we got, we got a of stuff. We also got leather too, right? I do. Some travel bags. Um, those are made down in South America. Oh, yeah. Coming. Yep. Follow you. Go ahead. Cool. They've got some very soft leather. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's very nice. hands on. It's very, it's a couple nice. families that just have okay. some small workshops. That's cool. They mm -hmm. make those. Yep. Yeah. And they, huh. how many pockets has got? Do you know? You know, I don't know. We'd have to actually count them. You probably need to. Count how many pockets? <laughs> yeah, girls like pockets. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, hey, show the water okay. bag. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is, looks just like, almost like a little vest, but it mm -hmm. is a canteen. A canteen. A canteen. Or, or a hot water bag. Yeah. A hot, hot water bottle. A hot. <laughs> Pretty 
pretty close. <laughs> but this is like the most softest thing you'll, you'll ever see. And what's it made out of? I don't know. I'm asking you. Huh? Baby alpaca. Baby alpaca. So it's very soft. One of the softest things you can have. Okay. And then these are also made out of baby alpaca. Now, do, Colors. Or do they have something to make the babies for? You make them like stay babies so you get the uh, special. No, babies. they just shear them. Yeah, they sell. <laughs> Okay, at a so young age. This is kind of more of a smaller portion. Oh, it even it's even got a strap. For so crossbody? Yeah, you can get a strap or you can just uh you just hold it. Carry it. Right, exactly, like a clutch. It's, uh, is this real leather? That's real leather yeah. and real cow hide. Yeah. Yep, yeah. sure enough. That's pretty same, right? I'm sorry. Cow hide yes. and leather? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good deal. Close enough. Fantastic. <laughs> This is his awesome rack. It might not be there anymore because I'm pretty sure my mom's gonna buy it. But um, he might have some more of these. That's right. I do have some more. Color type behind you. Oh, okay. So these are them. So you have this purple. Oh, he's got a green Okay, I can't hear you. Subscribe button. Okay, guys, we are out with my buddy Jose Cano. Okay, um, what do you do? What's your occupation? Um, manager for Barnyard Antiques. Okay. Do all you know, miniature? Office. Miniature? No, not miniature, not at all. Ma manager? Ma manager, yeah. Okay, that's pretty uh, cool. Barnyard Antiques. Okay, that's cool. Um, that's, pretty cool. <coughs> that's pretty cool thing. Uh, tell me more, more about what you sell. Uh, it's European furniture, mainly from Hungary. Hungary. Uh, yeah. Late 18, early 19. Mm -hmm. With the chest drawers and stuff, got stools, glass. Do you go down there yourself? Uh, I have been there, usually go once a year. Once a year? Yeah. Okay, so you guys cool. get stuff in season? No, I just go there. We get containers in. Do you get like shipped? Yeah. Ship yeah. Okay. yeah, gets on the boat. So do you guys like, have a salesman that goes down there and buy Yeah, a uh, boss man actually goes. Okay, that's cool. It's um, only a two hour flight, goes every month. He, he's a good boss? Uh, yeah. 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 That's good. That's good job. You like that? Yeah. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh. So, do you guys have a website? No, we have an Instagram. Uh, Barnyard Antiques Atlanta. Look us up. Uh, post pictures every day of everything that's in the warehouse. When containers come in. Uh, and all the shows we do. Cool, cool, cool. Um. So, why should people uh buy from shows and so uh, because it's better to have a hands-on on the product they're getting, because they know what they're getting, they're not going to be disappointed. Uh, they get better ideas, and uh, just it's always good to talk to a person than into a computer. So. Okay, uh, last thing, so you guys know I ask, I ask this on all my videos. This is important. Do you like to fish? I love the fish. Okay. Uh, I like I love to do salt water, but my main thing is bass fishing. Love bass fishing. Uh, what's the biggest you've uh, biggest I've caught I think was a six pound bass. That's pretty good. Yeah. I've only had like two. Awesome. Um, sweet. Mainly I use poppers. Okay. Yeah. Top, top, top water frogs. Um, but yeah. Okay. Sweet. We'll see you guys. Thank right. you for coming out. Not a problem. We'll see you guys next time. Oh, oh, hit subscribe down there. If you, if you don't hit subscribe, your phone will blow up. So if it's red, it will blow up. If it's not red, you, you should be okay. But thanks, guys, and that's a wrap.